guys, Travis Merritt, Fitness Revolution Rowlett. Just a quick rant today over something that I see happen a lot. This happens a lot in the exercise industry. Now, what I'm talking about doesn't really happen to the fit people, the people that have been doing this for quite some time, you know, that are the ones that you take a look on the magazine covers, things like that. And this doesn't really happen to the other extreme, which is the people that really don't work out or have no desire to work out, obviously. This happens to the majority, the people in the middle, the people that you see work out two, three, maybe four times a week. They have a good idea of what they need to eat, and they're pretty smart about it, but they don't get results. And one of the biggest reasons why, I, at least I see that they don't get results, is they have what I call diet ADD. Meaning, they jump from a way of eating to a way of eating. First off, let me say that, guys, dieting is not a bad thing. Dieting just means a lifestyle choice, alright? You can be gaining weight and still technically be on a diet. But, for people that have diet ADD, a lot of them are looking to lose weight. So, you'll see a person that will get on the paleo kick. And they'll start doing paleo for a few days, maybe a week. But they'll hear about how their best friend's cousin's boyfriend did this method, something completely different, and lost a lot of weight. So they'll go try that. Or they'll hear about how their kid's school teacher did this complete thing that's just opposite from the boyfriend and completely different paleo. And they're going to go try what their kid's teacher did. Guys, what ends up happening is when you're doing diet, when you have a case of diet ADD, is you're not sticking to it long enough to allow the diet to work. Virtually, majority of diets do work if you stick to it long enough. All right? So you have to remember that if you're trying to lose 20 pounds, you didn't get 20 pounds overnight, nor are you going to think you're going to lose it overnight. And how do you know if you have this mentality? If you're the type of person that does 20 crunches, looks up and see if they have abs, that probably means that you're probably susceptible to diet ADD. So here's what I tell people that if they notice that they have diet ADD, what to do? Stop it. Stop jumping around. Pick one thing. And in fact, if you have diet ADD, it means you haven't had a good, just healthy lifestyle yet. It means you're looking for a quick fix. Guys, this isn't a quick fix. It's, it's, that doesn't happen that way. What you need to do is focus on something that's sustainable, that's sustainable every day, that's part of a lifestyle. So this is what we got to find. we got to find that one thing, and it can start with just one thing. Find that one thing that you can integrate in your lifestyle now. Focus on that one thing. Then let's move on to something else, okay? Don't try to do a complete overhaul and jump to paleo, to carb backloading, to carb cycling. No. Pick something that's going to be easy for you to do, stick with it, and then after a period of time, you can tweak it as you see fit. Guys, get rid of diet ADD. Find something. Find one thing. Stick to it long enough. Stick to it long enough to make it a lifestyle. And if you do, I promise, you will notice that 20 pounds will come off, maybe even then some, and it will be a lot easier to maintain the result. Guys, if you find that you have a case of diet ADD and you need help, talk to me. This is why I'm here. I'm here to help you. All right? But in the meantime, I hope everyone is doing having a good day. If you find that you have the diet ADD, again, reach out to me. Guys, this is Travis Merrick from Fitness Revolution Rallet. I hope you have a good day.